once again I welcome you to British Agri School's e-learning platform. My name remains Miss Murray and today I'll be taking you on cultural and creative arts topic key stage two and our key stage two comprises of our year three, year four and year five. So our topic today says local crafts and types. Let me go over it again. Local crafts and types. You may be wondering what are local crafts? Local crafts are artworks that can be done with the use of our hands or manual skills. Let's go, let's go over it again. Local crafts are artworks that can be done with the use of our hands or manual skills. You might be wondering why I added this manual skills. In some places, you might actually just see manual skills and not the word hands. The word manual skills still means the same thing as using your hands to actually make something. So we go next is local crafts and material used in making them. We have different forms of local crafts and different materials are actually used to make such crafts. First we have pottery. Pottery is made of clay. If you watch our Nigerian movies, you see those pots that those ladies carry on their head to the stream. It is made of clay and they use hands to actually make and design those beautiful pots. Next we move to weaving. Weaving is made of raffia or thread. If you look at what you're wearing now, you actually see that some threads have been actually packed, interlaced together. If you look at this um, little cloth I'm holding, you can see it's, it's beautifully designed, but if you look closely, you see threads actually interlaced perfectly to create this lovely pattern you're seeing. Next, we have dyeing. Dyeing is made of color pigments. You heard of tie and dye, right? So the actual reason why it's called tie and dye is you have to tie a part of the cloth before you apply this dye to it which creates, a, which is made of color pigments, which creates a lovely color pattern to your material. Next, we move to types of craft, type of craft work around us, pardon me, let's go over it again. Types of craft work around us. Number one we have is pottery, like I mentioned earlier, weaving, dyeing, leather work, black smithing. So you might wonder, what is the pottery all about? Pottery is the product and process of forming vessels and other objects with clay and other ceramic material. Like I mentioned earlier, the old village pots they use in the movies to fetch water. Then your mugs, the mugs you use at home are actually made by someone's hand using just hands, not a machine. A machine doesn't make the glass cup you use. Is actually molded with hands. Next, number two, we move to weaving. Weaving is a method of textile production in which two distinct sets of yarns or threads are interlaced. Let's underline this word. Interlaced at right angles to form a cloth. Remember what I showed you, if you look properly here. You can see the leaves on this cloth is actually very well placed. How lovely. If you look closely, you can see the thread actually interlaced perfectly to make this a lovely piece. Next, we move to dyeing. Dyeing is the application of pigments on textile, textile material, sorry, such as fiber, yarns, and fabric with the goal of achieving desired color so what i want you to do with this dye don't just look at it particularize it tell your mom to get you a dye and do some designs on it it will have a, a vision of the kind of style you want to be created on that material that's having the goal of as the goal of achieving a desired color because a dye comes with so many different colors so when you go with this pigment on textile, 
you have the vision of creating a design pattern, a color pattern on your dress. Like if you look at the shirt I'm wearing, you can actually see that first of all, the weaving took place on this cloth. The threads are actually well interlaced and the color pattern is well placed. You can see it. Yeah. So thank you guys. I know you liked this um, lesson and I believe with this you can actually you'll be able to identify local craft when you see them anywhere you go thank you guys bye bye